15. His first day here, he was so happy to be in AEW. He looked so rejuvenated, and he just looked like he had a fire lit underneath him. When you're watching him on TV at home, and you see this menacing man that Brody portrayed, that's the farthest thing from what he was. One time in the course of the match, he and I were in the ring. Brody's so big and so athletic, he hit the rope so fast that he broke the second rope. And I'll never forget it, he says, I broke the second rope, please be careful. It just got me thinking that in that split second, his first thought was to tell me, his opponent, to be careful. It's hard to explain to someone who hasn't wrestled, but the minute you lock up with someone in the ring, you know right away how good they are. You know instantly that you can trust them with every fiber of your being and know that they will take care of you and that you will not get hurt. And that's how good Brody was. I had been going through uh, what I called my crisis of confidence. He was going into a title match with John, so I knew that it was all about him. But that match that night, he made me feel like we were both the same importance. He texted me and he thanked me for everything that I did for him. And, and honestly, I, I should have thanked him twice as much because he did as much for me that day. In my mind, in my heart, he, he did more for me that than I think I ever got a chance to tell him. And that's something I, I wish I had had a chance to tell him.